What's up, YouTube? Minnie Minchino here, and welcome back to another episode of Earthbound. Last time we started our adventure at Ness's house, the meteorite fell, all kinds of stuff went down, um, and we met an alien from the future, and then he died. So that's kind of depressing. And, uh, yeah, today we're pretty much just gonna see what's around, and, uh, just kind of see what's next. So let's see about going home. And oh my goodness, this is like my favorite dude ever. I I, I, I had a song originally. I don't think I'm going to sing it here. But yeah, it, it, it's it's this guy's awesome. Some people don't like him, honestly, but I think he's kind of cool. He's the photo man. He just takes pictures of you throughout your adventure. He comes up periodically and you know, sometimes like at the end of the game, you'll get to you'll get to see them in in a very cool way. So there is that. He doesn't take up too much of your time, in my personal opinion. So that's okay. What does uh, Ness's mom have to say? You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. So eat some uh, something about eating steak. <laughs> um. But yeah, we're here. We can stop off and heal for free, essentially. Um, as you can see, I don't think we took too much damage, but we're totally healed up there. We can also see our money there. I gotta stop hitting that button now. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna try to make this video not as long as the first one. I don't want to do super, super long ones. Um, I just wanted to do that because it was like the beginning of the game and stuff like that. And hello, Crow. Let's go ahead and fight you. Why the heck not? I am actually going to head over to Liar Exaggerate because I think he has something to show us. I think we can do this now, and we might as well since we're already at this part of the town. We haven't even reached the main, main area of town just yet. Can I hit this guy, please? I just realized, um, I collected a bread roll in the last episode, and I realized it may have been gone because of this damn crow. <laughs> like, I just, I'm just like, you can steal your items, and it's really annoying, and then I realize my bread roll's gone, and I'm like, did I not collect it? And then I go to the box, and it was gone. He probably stole it. That's probably exactly what happened. <laughs> but yeah, okay, we got coil snakes happening. These guys are not very strong at all. So, yeah, um, I think I mentioned in the last- they give you, like, one experience, I think. At least later on they do. I think they give you, like, a set amount of EXP. Um, so that's kind of a thing. Yeah, see, one experience. These guys are useless. So we pretty much don't really need to bother with them. Um, I gotta tell you about this now, but somebody else gives you a tip about it later, but there are back attacks and stuff in this game. Uh, if enemies hit you from behind, you'll get a red swirl and they can get a surprise attack on you. If you walk into them from behind, you'll get a green swirl and, and get a surprise attack on them. So, obviously, you don't want to get back attacked and, and you want to be the one doing the back attacking. So there is that. Um, I just figured I'd sort of let you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This place is really nice during the day, though, seriously. It's like, I don't know. It's really nice. Sup, crow? Can I get a back attack on you? No? Damn. You gonna steal my cookie? I don't really want you to steal my cookie. I really- this bat. This baseball bat, man. Oh my god! Oh no! No, no, no! Oh. Really? Really? That- Oh jeez, that's embarrassing. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, you know, we're gonna... When we come back, I guess it takes all of our psychic energy to come back. I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and heal up. That can become a little bit annoying later on, because sometimes like you'll have to heal party members, but then have to heal their PSI separately, and you don't always get free healing, so... Yeah, and when a party member dies, you don't always get access to a hot spring to heal them, so... You gotta pay for healing, and then you gotta pay for, you know, more healing. So, <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate. It's snakes! Please. Please! No. No, go down. There you go. Um, this game also has a really cool feature, actually, when you get far enough into it. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and- No! No! No, no, no. You're not back attacking me, buddy. That's not a thing you're allowed to do. I don't think so. I don't think so! That's not- No. There you go. Done. Dunzo. Dunzo like dinner -o. I don't even know. <laughs> Ooh! I got a back attack on him somehow. Okay, I I'll take it. I don't think that was- I don't think that should have counted as a back attack, but I am not complaining. So you get one free hit on them, essentially, and then it just kind of goes normal battle if you don't knock them out in one go. Um, but yeah, okay, we got a cookie. Awesome. Cookie. Let's, uh, let's eat the cookie. They're not very useful, but I figure since we have them, let's do it. Um, our sandstone... We can't really do anything with just yet, but you'll see it in action when we get to the sanctuary. It's pretty neat. I I quite like it anyway. It's not like super super useful for gameplay, but it's pretty cool. Let's see about this guy. Can I can I beat you up, sir? We're back to where I was when I died. It's 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 a thing. It's a thing. It's cool. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> oh yeah, yay. Um Depending on what happens, I'm thinking that if I end up dying anywhere and it's like a huge long way to get back to where I was at, I'll probably like, you know, cut to go to back to where I was at. Depending on what I'm doing, I guess. I guess we'll see what's up. We got Hypnosis Alpha. I don't use this very often, but let's actually go ahead and see what it does because I couldn't tell you right off the top of my head. Can I... Oh right, I gotta go here, the stats screen. Um, we've got tons of stuff here. Well, I guess not too much. We've got our usual offense, defense, speed, guts, which is pretty important actually, uh, vitality, and IQ, and luck. Most, like, a lot of these aren't... Some of them are more important for some members than others. Guts is really important because you can actually save yourself from mortal damage if you're lucky. So that's important to raise for sure. Um, but if we press A on the stat screen, we can go to our uh, PSI. So let's go to Assist and check out what Hypnosis does. Puts one enemy to sleep. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, Life Up cures... Uh, restores 100 HP to one person. That is a lot early game. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a ton of PP to go around. So, I'm not going to be spamming that. But, you know, there it is. And we can already insta-kill. I love that ability. It's kind of amazing. So, let's see about going in here and, and uh, see what this dude has, has got to say. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Ah, I can... I can tell by that look on your face. Uh, you don't want to hang out, do you? That's alright, after all. Uh, we are not even related. I mean, I don't... That line is so weird. I know you think I'm a liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. So he claims to have found some sort of treasure. So let's see what he's got going down in his creepy cave basement. This is clearly not like... Uh, is this even structurally sound? Is it safe to even be down here? I don't know. It's it's very, very strange. Okay, let's, uh, let's follow this guy. It's a little bit creepy. Not gonna lie. Um, right. Um... So, Ness, buddy, I found proof of a, of, of, gr of a great treasure. A huge haul. Yeah, <laughs> I'll show you, but um, you're the only one. Come on. Hmm, something's weird about this. Something's very weird about the- what is that? Uh, let's talk to you first. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up a buried treasure. Well, I mean, you kind of just did, technically speaking. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You might start to get strange th or greedy thoughts. Hmm. Let's check this. Hmm. The golden statue is glowing strangely. And that sound 
Hmm. Something fishy about this guy. It's creepy looking. It's like totally a devil statue. Ah. Uh. Well, sure hope we don't bump into that in the future. I'm gonna go and leave this guy's house though, because he's creepy as hell. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Like this cave, he just dug this out. And like there's no way. There's no way that was approved by anything. Like, there's there's no regulation to like he his he has a hole in his floor. He's not selling this house, like ever. <laughs> He is absolutely never going to sell that place. But anyway, uh, we've gone out, we've checked out Liar Exaggerate. We can actually go up and check the Meteor real quick. There isn't really anything there, but we can see it during the day, which is pretty cool. There's like a little crater thing there, and but here it is. Um, I don't want to talk to the Meteor. Caution! There are still lots of uh, fires burning here and there. It's hot. I feel like if there were still fires and stuff, it should not be left unattended, but that's just my opinion. Um, but sure, it's fine. Nobody's gonna burn down and die. It's cool, it's cool. It's, it's gonna be okay. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, ignore that like everybody else and carry on our way and see what lies south of us. Hello, dog. Can I, can I fight you? Can I, can I do some stuff and not die in the process? Uh, okay, here we go. Can I, can I do some stuff? I don't have party, party members to, like, guard me anymore, so I have to be careful. Um, so that's kind of a thing. Now, um, yeah, we're just gonna keep heading, heading along, just strolling along. There is a way of faster movement. There's a couple ways of faster movement, actually, but some of them aren't really that useful. Actually, I mean, some of them can be, I guess. Sup, dude? Dead. <laughs> I love that. It's so satisfying. It's like enemies you once had to fight are now just paltry. Like, just absolutely, like, nothing at your feet. It's kind of great. Okay, our first hint of something other than uh, a home. We've got the library over here, so let's head on in and see what's going down. Let's talk to this lady, see what she's got to say. Um, let's see. I believe she actually gives us um, the town map. I was right. How do you, how do you access that? Just hit by hitting X. I think, yeah, it shows us all the places in, uh, in Annette right here. Um, so up at the top right, that's Ness's house and stuff like that. It doesn't show us the meteor, but there it is. Um, we've got, we're here at the library. We've got like a burger shop and all kinds of stuff going on over there. So we're going to go ahead and head south and check that out. Actually, no, we're not. Um, not yet. Everybody in here, I think, gives you tips and stuff. I don't think I'm going to be talking to them. They don't really give you items, I don't think. Um, but yeah, like they'll they'll just give you tips and stuff. You'll also find where is he at? Is he here? Yeah, this guy. I think this he tells you this guy tells you about back attacks and stuff. But he'll give you tips throughout the game as well. Um, I don't need them personally, so I'm not really going to worry about it. But if for whatever reason you want to check out his text, feel free. There is a dude around here. I passed him. There he is. He's one of Ness's friends. Hey, there you go. Um, and it turns out they have like a little, uh, a little fort over here. Uh, he's supposed to be your hint to finding it. It's hidden. It's, it's well hidden actually. But you head on in here. There's like a little hut over here. I'm assuming these guys built it themselves. But you talk to this dude. And I believe you get a baseball cap. Nice. Um, and this guy, I think, I think he's like he's the guy that says he likes me, which is weird. And then this dude. Oh no, this is the guy that says he really likes me, which is which is weird. This other guy is talking about like a dream he had about me, like going on an adventure and traveling with a girl or something. <laughs> So there's that. Um, we can actually equip this hat that we found here. Let's go to other. Yeah, Mr. Baseball Cap. It brings our defense up to 10, which is going to be very, very helpful. 
Um, so yeah, that's like a free piece of equipment right there that you can get. Very easy to miss, but there it is. Not required at all, but, you know, it's it's cool. Uh, we got a burger shop here. We can buy hamburgers for healing and, and, the, and the like. And uh, we've got our store over here. Do I have any money on me? I have $10. I had 20 but I died. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, we're gonna withdraw. 110. Is that enough for everything? Yeah, let's try. Let's see. So that means I have 120. We're gonna look for equipment right here. So we're gonna talk to this dude. And, uh, one thing I will say about this game is there... When you can get an item that increases your power, your, uh, the border around your HP box will, like, flash like crazy. So, you know, it's an item compatible with you and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna get the T-Rex bat. And we're gonna equip that. So it changes our offense from 11 to 15, which is cool. And we're gonna sell our cracked bat. So that's cool. You can, like, buy and s you can buy new equipment and immediately sell your other equipment. But the unfortunate thing is you have to buy every item one at a time. Uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, also, there's things like yo-yos and stuff. They're pretty powerful. Accuracy goes to absolute poop, so there's that. Um, and we're gonna get the cheap bracelet because we have need of more defense, because why not? Uh, we're gonna buy- can we not buy it? 98. 81. Okay, we can't buy that yet. So we're gonna have to do some stuff first. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually deposit all of my stuff. No, no, no. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Okay, can I... Can I do the thing properly? Can I- can I do the thing properly? Yeah, okay, awesome. How are we doing for time here? I imagine- yeah, we're almost at the end, actually, so... That's gonna be a thing. Um... I just wanna see if I can look around a little bit more. That cheap bracelet will help increase our, uh, defenses and things. Let's go up here, actually. I think there's something up here. There's a lot of buildings, also, that you can't really go into, which is kind of a shame, but... I don't know. It's, it's a thing. It's fine. Hello, Spiteful Crow! How are you doing? Does that not... Really? It doesn't count as a back attack? That is unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and beat you up now. No? I want to beat you up with my beefed up offense. Can I like- there you go. One hit deadzo. There's your T-Rex bat in action, friendos. And hopefully, hopefully it is satisfactory. This place here, the door is locked. What is this place, actually? No! Ugh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Traveling Entertainer Shack. And there is, do not enter. It's weird that it says do not enter, but the sign itself says don't enter. So there is that. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop beyond this, beyond this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. Hmm. That sounds important. Uh, the shack was, uh, was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. Alright, that is also an important piece of info. Not required to talk to, but, you know, there is that. Oh, we got another guy. Okay, so we're gonna close out this video with another fight, I guess. Um, that's okay. Done? Like the dinner. <laughs> this is great. Okay, we got another cookie, and we're good to go. Okay, so... I suppose I'm going to leave it off for this episode, but I guess in the next one, we're going to see what's up with that city hall business. So we're going to go ahead and venture into town a little bit more, see if we can buy that cheap bracelet as well, because I probably earned a couple bucks. I just need to earn, like, literally ten bucks, I think. So there's that. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, Mini out.